check our answers on the calculator um, for part A we've got a lambda value of 2.5 and we want to work out the probability that x is equal to 3 so on our calculator go into stats mode distribution Poisson you can use PCD every time for these set your lambda value for 2.5 that's already done here and then if we just want the probability that x is equal to 3 set the lower limit and upper limit to be um, both of them equal to 3 and execute and we get our answer of 2.138 for part b we want the probability that x is greater than 1 so in discrete terms that means 2 upwards so if we set a lower limit to 2 uh, and then set our upper limit to a big number so just something like 10,000 is fine lambda value is still the same and we get 0 0.7127 and for example for part C we want between 1 and 3 including 3 but not including 1 so uh, again you need to just be careful with the inequalities and make sure that um, you think about your limits so between this is essentially between 2 and 3 inclusive and when you put your limits in it's the inclusive values that you need to put in so it's basically between uh, 2 and 3 and still a lambda value of 2.5 Okay, so that's probably your quickest and the, the um, usual way that you're going to calculate um, probabilities associated with the Poisson, whether it's an equal to or whether it's an inequality, your calculator does that quite quickly and quite efficiently. For example two, we've got to work backwards from the probability to get the corresponding value, so it's kind of using the, the process, the inverse process, so when we go into distribution um, and Poisson, this time we go for inverse P and uh, make sure we adjust our lambda value so here we've got a lambda value of 8 and uh, the area that you put in is going to be the area that corresponds to a uh, less than or equal to uh, probability so in part A we want probability x is less than or equal to a is 0.3134 so we put in 0.3134 as our area we've got a lambda value of 8 it comes up with this warning message you can ignore that and it gives you uh, an inverse now this is where you need to be careful that 7 isn't necessarily our answer in fact it probably won't be just gives us a ballpark figure of where our answer is. So what we now need to do is go back to the ordinary Poisson. PCD. And we know that we've got an answer uh, of 7 to, that's close to what we're looking for. So if you put in a lower limit of 0 and an upper limit of 7 that will give you the actual probability and you can see that isn't equal to 0 0.3134 so then uh, you go back and adjust and you adjust your upper limit down to 6 and check that one and you can see that that does give you uh, your required the reason your calculator didn't give you the answer of 6 straight away is it will give you the value that corresponds to the first probability that is um, above the, um, the probability that you've typed in. And you, as you can see here, this probability for 6 is, when uh, written to full accuracy, is slightly below, so it gave the next one above. So the inverse facility on your calculator just gives you a ballpark figure of where to look. And normally you'll need to um, adjust one down to get your answer. So A is in fact equal to 6. Looking at B, because it wasn't initially in the less than or equal to form, we needed to first of all 
um, rearrange the inequality into that form. And now if we um, go inverse Poisson and we check our area 0 0.0996 and our lambda value is 8 as before then the ballpark figure that it gives us this time is uh, 4 now we need to go back and check um, using the Poisson in the other direction distribution Poisson PCD and put in your upper value of 4 that does give us 0 0.0996 okay, and it's slightly above so therefore we're okay here so B minus 1 is equal to 4 and hence B is equal to 5 if that had been slightly below um, then it would have given us the next value up above that would have given us b minus 1 is equal to 5. So you've got to um, just play around with it a little bit um, and make sure you check it um, forwards before you confirm your final answer. And for example c, so again you need to first rearrange your inequality um, to make sure that you've written it into an equivalent statement in the less than or equal to form. Once you've got it into the less than or equal to form then on your calculator you can uh, look up using the inverse so your probability is or your area 0.1912 so that gives us the ballpark figure of 5 we then should just check in the other direction and check that 5 is uh, the one we are looking for and not for. Okay, and that gives us a probability of 0 0.1912 and that is slightly above, so uh, C is equal to 5.